Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where today we're picking up where we left off in the Geth Dreadnought and yes I spent too much time a little over eight minutes in cobbling together a series of screenshotted images for a funny little meme and I hope you guys like it because I really did spend too long on it despite it being janky so uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video and get ready to meet somebody that we haven't seen in a while once again love that in Mass Effect 3 so thank you all and the video will start in a moment. It just felt like they were uh, they were constantly spawning in on me, and so I was like, "Oh no!" I was trying to run through to like avoid them, and that was a bad. It was a bad elevator. Nope, nope. Get off! Get your little Velcro butt off of that. In this game, I need money, so I'm always I'm always looking for the money scans. Hello? Hello, where's Legion? Shepard, if you fall, I won't forgive you. Shepard! Grab my hand! Eh! Ah! Hang on! If you... <laughs> I'm alright. Woo! All these close calls, all the time. Good. Hopefully we're done with elevators. Shut up, stop. You two are Come on. jinxing it. The drive course shouldn't be far. You two are jinxing it. Mad bad. Also, yeah, there's no way that the guests wouldn't have some way to keep me out. Like, once they know you're in here, it's like, I really think they could just swarm you with units or, like, lock down all the stuff. But I guess, I mean, Tally's a hacker, so it doesn't make sense. The Geth aren't omnipotent. That looks like mine! It's definitely Reaper tech. But well, except for that part, you're right. <gasps> oh my gosh! Legion? Shepard Commander. Help me. Ah! Legion. Good to see you, Legion. We'll have you out of there in no time. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's happening. I mean, it's a good point, and Tali's not being mean. Um, the Reapers hack everybody, organic and machine, right? But, uh, I forgot, I totally forgot that Legion was being used to, like, power this or something? I don't know. I trust him. Legion helped us trust fight the it. before. There's no way I would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once free, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So, what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth simultaneously. Then, getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. I I am far side of the room. Yeah, yeah, easy peasy. Yes, deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and destroyed the heretics for what? Nothing? No. Removal of the heretics made the decision to ally with the old machines more difficult. Had the creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. I mean... Sounds like they only joined the Reapers because the Quarians attacked. Nothing excuses... Yeah, I mean, the yeah. Reapers. They could have found another way. Some would say the same about Turians curing the Genophage and allying with the Krogan. Damn it! I begged them to negotiate rather than attack. I did. 
Let's just get Legion out of there. I think Tally, I think, like, I was like, I don't know why she didn't say more, but there's only so much you can do, and she's the youngest. It's kind of just an honorary position, like, she's kind of stuck in a rock and a hard place. She can't make the decisions, and she can't, like, go to the fleet. Like, she could go out and be like, hey, and, like, try to maybe create, like, dissension in the ranks, right? Because the Admiralty can't do, like... They can only do, like, one big massive decision without, like, the agreement of, I think, all the ship captains or something. Like, they, like, they, like everybody needs to agree, you know? Um, or at least come close to There needs to be some sort of consensus, you know? Uh, so, yeah. I mean, there's always so much you can do. And, tell, yeah, she's like, I mean, there were probably other options other than allying with the reapers but when your attackers don't see you as sentient or like worth even talking to right it's like what do you do sometimes you know you just die or you fight as you are or do you take the the other option the uh the other hand being dealt to you you know got it Tully's order to fleet the signal is about to go offline this is Admiral Han Gerl. shut up Gerl. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Let's go, Legion. There he is. That's my guy. Why they chose Legion? I guess Legion was a prototype. Uh, As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's drive core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Uh oh. Oh baby, it's time. Alert. Get reinforcements. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, yeah, I figured. Oh no. I don't like these. The gas fleet is destabilized. Watch out, that's the signal is offline. Yeah, I knew. The Patroflates. Whoa, Garrus. Well, let's send out our own. I'm scared. I don't want to go out there. Girls being an idiot. Yeah, well, listen, we're still on it, my dude. I need you to cease. Extravagant. Like also, they're um, weed whacking right outside the door right now, which is awesome. Legion, we gotta go, bud. I cannot believe they're doing this. Like I really, it's like listen, we went in there. To help you, and now you're firing? Commander, the creator fleet is firing upon this vessel. Yeah. Without barriers, this ship will be destroyed. We must evacuate. Um, get to the escape pods. put them back up, get maybe. Intelligences via remote signal. We do not use escape pods. Suggestions? Get fires are docked in a port side fire bay. We can burn it Oh, we can? Ah! Yeah, I was like, wait, there you go. Shepard deplete, hold fire! I repeat, hold fire! 
At least let us get off, you jerks! This is actually crazy. Actually crazy. And that they're killing me, who's like trying to lead this whole operation, like, to like save the galaxy, and he's like, he's just so obsessed. With his like I don't know, they're like they're like Yes, Corey! <laughs> well then get us up here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, no gravity. Thank you. Thank you for saving him. No. Fine. We're leaving in a gas fighter. Transmitting rendezvous coordinates. Am I gonna sit out on the outside? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Fine, go! Garrus is a big boy! Just waggle the wings or something so I know which way. There's no wings on this thing! Don't you fire on me! Oh my gosh. Oh okay, they're just firing on the guest dreadnought. Yeah, we're probably broadcasting like, don't shoot, don't shoot, <laughs> it's Shepard. I don't know if you have it out for me or what. Geralt's just like a, he wants to be like a hot shot young military guy again, you know? They fired on the dreadnought while you were on Yeah, not a very ally thing to do. They're supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead. I know. Admiral Geralt's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. Really? But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it. They're now. civilians! I don't care if they call themselves a fleet. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. Not blackmailing us. What of Shepard and Tali Zora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission... No, they didn't! Changed. Your military. You You're out of control. I understand that you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. The dreadnought was a perfect target. This is exactly the kind of short-sighted, bloodthirsty behavior I was worried about. If you could retake Earth with a little friendly fire, you'd do it in a heartbeat. You're lucky I need your ships, Admiral. I've got to get back to the heavy fleet. Run. We'll talk later. What? What? He like burned in her. The guest inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the reaper. Well, you guys, this was your decision. You said they have a planetary defense. This was your decision. Had Admiral Corus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash landed on the whole world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The guest no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the reapers. Repairs. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer. Yo, buddy! I see your guest friend has returned. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. Yes. This is a fascinating project. Get your hands off! From study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Conception. Absolutely not. Um, and having. I'm a big fan of the Murderbot series now, where Murderbot goes by it. And yeah, like, get freaking. It might sound rude to, like, organics, but it, I think, would be the best way to refer to it. Because it doesn't have a gender. It has kind of a masculine ish sounding voice, I guess, but it's more, like, neutral than anything else. Now. Legion helped me in the fight against the collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about it too? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific Oh, shut up. Are off the table. Yeah! <laughs> My pistol can't talk what to me! Can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized. But once the short range signal is in place, they will recover. Kilo. 
I need to warn the fleet. Zen, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where is it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Gap fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Can I bring Legion out with me? I cannot remember. Listen, I hear you. I hear you. Where are you at? Hang on. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kunesh. We've lost barriers. Our comm system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming. Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help. We have all breaches. Life support failing. Warren Rand. Ron, the Kinesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert the Kinesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, what That was very easy to do. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, Alliance. What did we get on the Alliance? Um. Why can't. Okay, here we go. More. Blah, blah, blah. The Prothean disc dives just. Data drives discovered by Sonax Industries have been turned over to Alliance Engineers. The Third Fleet. Human forces fighting Cerberus took losses due in part to the shortage of engineers in the Alliance Third Fleet. Eh, what, did, what did I do? <laughs> I don't remember how that came about. Uh, I did something to make that an issue. The Library of Asha contained definitive works by Asari on the art of war. These texts have been distributed as standing training material. I mean, they should have had it. The Asari cruiser Nefrain is named for a lost city said to be buried in ice at the Sea of South Pole. The cruiser still carries the scar from the scores of Geth fighters it took on during the Battle of the Citadel. The crew refuses to have the scars removed, considering their marks of honor and a reminder of how close they came to annihilation. The engineers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The yard work. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. If built improperly, stress could tear the crucible in half upon activa activation. So we have the Asari engineers to help us with that. I got all those updates on the bot on the right side. I was like, bleh. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. What? Oh, <laughs> I was like, what are you? If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's a I mean, she was pretty nice to it. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford I can't this. really blame her on that. What do you need? Like, truly, you know? Uh, let's... Yeah, well, I mean, I know she cray-cray, but... Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? The scientific one. Special projects. It's not a fleet, per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home. Yeah, she's crazy. You're not worried about her losing perspective given her interest in the Good area. question. If she can save our people, she can do more than she You know, can. that's what happened with Tally's dad. He thought he could save the people and do whatever he wanted, and it got a lot of people killed. So <laughs> Han girl, yeah, Han girl was a G in two, right? Like he he was a good guy, like helping you, like supporting Tally, and now he's just like, I think he's mad at Tally because she's a little more sympathetic to the Geth in this one because we made her sympathetic to Geth in two, like we encouraged that mindset. Uh, I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard a heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them. If he survived his crash landing on Rannach. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, 
Our strength would even give the Turians pop. I was gonna say, they said that the Turians are the largest fleet, and I was like, I don't know if the Turians would agree, but because the Turians exist solely in ships, I would agree that they have the largest, like, fleet, technically, of, like, ships, you know? But the civilian, like, live ships and stuff, like those big round ones, like, those... And it makes... I don't know. It's just, it's just why I get it. That, that's the supply chain, right? You keep the supply chain with you, and you don't have to worry about it. But putting civilians at risk just seems really bad. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. Yeah, what? The live ships have cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. <gasps> That's a violation of the Treaty of Fire. Oh! Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the council will buy <laughs> Yeah, them? yeah. If need be, I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Yeah, you're making them targets. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines. But we'll do whatever we must to win. I think there definitely should have been a vote on, like, who wanted to do it. You know, like, some ships are like, no, it's not worth the rip. But then that would be its whole own thing. Because the Koreans are very, like, community-driven in a lot of ways. Um, and so if there were, maybe uh, many would feel pressured into doing it, probably into fighting. Um, and many would be torn, I think, on the fence, like, if it was worth the risk or not. But there's children on those ships, you know? Like, did they at least, like, evacuate the kids or something? Put them on ships with some people? But, like, then you just have, like, a whole flotilla full of children and, like, a few caretakers. Like, eh, I don't know. What can you tell me about Admiral Garrel's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. Comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Bye. I'll let you get back. <laughs> Thank I you. love that we spend the whole conversation like looking at the data pad. Like multitasking boss here, you know. Anyway, um, I don't know how this episode is going to work out with the last one, but I'm going to go ahead and call it here. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Equinter patrons. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond and has supported me in the channel, and who I cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.